in the platform model, the technology is ultimately a commodity and the power is in the network. None of the linear media companies are trying to figure out platform. All the platform companies are trying to figure out linear. How do we do user generated content? And how do we do premium high-end content? And what is the convergence? Amazon is going to buy MGM. We were just talking on the show about AT&T. I mean, it was just such a dumb decision to buy DirecTV and, uh, and then double down, actually like triple down on it by buying Time Warner. But what we've talked about is when, when industries are faced with platform disruption, you tend to see consolidation, right? Uh, fragmented supplies, I was just talking about with Scott, leads to marketplace and, and platform disintermediation. If you can consolidate the supply, um, then you know that will buy you some time at the very least normally. Problem, just like in the hotel industry, where the hotel industry has gone through massive consolidation it, uh, in parallel with the rise of Airbnb, is what you tend to see with the most dominant platform models is they create their own new version of supply, like with Uber and UberX, like with Airbnb and letting anyone rent out their home to become a hotel. And similarly in the media industry, where now everyone is a creator, you see consolidation and now you're seeing, what, have we, what was I just talking about on the last show? You're seeing the tech monopolies, which have a new content platform model. Amazon has it with Twitch. They also have Prime Video. You're seeing the disruptors in, in the content industry try to embrace the traditional linear business model. They have both. And that's ultimately the strongest position to be in is to have a hybrid, right? Amazon has 1P where they have Amazon Basics and they're buying and selling product off a of balance sheet. And they have 3P, third-party sellers. But the point is you have both. Apple, they buy and sell hardware and then they supposedly don't make any money on their app store or, the, or, or Tim Cook is, is not sure because he's just the smartest operator in the world, but he doesn't know if the app store is profitable. Oh my God, that company is frustrating me so much today. Hybrid business model, platform and linear revenue streams, right? That's the best place to be is both. Not one or the other, but both. That's actually been eBay's fault, right? They've only stuck with platform. Their thing is that they don't compete against third-party sellers. They don't have any 1P, which is good for the seller, not as good for the end customer, as you see on the buying experience on eBay versus what Amazon can provide. And ultimately, you know, for the value of the company, I'd say the hybrid model has been much better for an Amazon versus eBay, which is just stuck to 3P. You want to have a hybrid model, linear and platform. And none of the linear media companies are trying to figure out platform. All the platform companies are trying to figure out linear. Case in point, Amazon buying MGM for like $9 billion. That is, spells a recipe for disaster for who? The media industry incumbents. And it, you know, like it doesn't say that, you know, YouTube tried like YouTube, I think Red it was called, where YouTube is doing a lot of their own premium content, hiring and, and creating their own shows and paying for like premium content shows. And, and that eventually kind of shuttered. So it doesn't mean that they're just automatically going to figure it out. But it's saying you're, they're building the muscle memory. To say, hey, how do we do user-generated content? And how do we do premium high-end content? And what is the convergence? And what's the model to do both? Right? Because that's ultimately what the consumer wants is both. They don't want one or the other. They don't want all user-gen. And they don't want all high-end movie production TV series. But they want both. And how do you give that to the customer? Well, that means you got to do both. Why is it that none of the incumbents are trying to do both? They're just trying to do the same thing and consolidate and kick the can down the road. But none of them want to touch user-generated content. And that is the big gap that not only the traditional media incumbents, but Netflix too. That's why we've been a um, hawk and a bear on Netflix because Netflix is just a movie studio with better digital tech than the other guys. But the other guys being Disney and Paramount and Viacom and Time Warner, uh, the list goes on and on and on. In the platform model, the technology is ultimately a commodity and the power is in the network. The power is in the ecosystem. Netflix never built an ecosystem. No supply side ecosystem. Just really good demand and tech and distribution, which was good. It worked. They made billions of dollars. Okay. But I'm just saying not as powerful as a platform.
as a dominant platform, as a platform monopoly. And you now will see that and have been seeing that in Netflix's stock price as Wall Street realizes everything that we've been talking about for like two years. Hi, I'm Alex. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, but even better, make sure to follow us on Odyssey, follow us on Rumble, and text us 203-646-5159. Text the word Monopoly. You'll be subscribed. You'll get updates about when we're going live, our latest videos, and we'll send you even a little goodie bag. And in the event that we all get banned from big tech, we'll still be connected.